guys welcome back to my channel and what we're going to do today is we're just going to be testing out the ABH modern renaissance palettes if you just watched my makeup haul from Walmart Marshalls Ulta then you'll know that it's something that I just recently picked up that I'm really excited for um, in that video I mentioned to you that I had of course um, swatched them in the store and wanted to try this palette out um, it was very buttery from what I could tell in the store, so I do want to just see how they perform on the eyes. If you like this video, I'd love it if you would give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, um, and leave a comment below. Do you like this palette? I know it's probably a crazy question to ask. Um, um, or if you, let's say, maybe like me, haven't tried it yet and this is my first time, let me know that too. Do you plan on picking it up? Um, with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and so we're going to get right into the video. Okay, so on my eyelids, I already primed them. I went in with this Mary Kay um, eye primer base. Um, it's a primer my sister gave to me, but I actually like it. I feel like it prolongs the wear of my eye eyeshadow. Um, it doesn't like cover up any sort of like veininess if you have just maybe discoloration, which I do a little bit, um, but as far as the prolonging of the eye eyeshadow, I think this works great. Um, I do actually like this. And on the eyes after using the primer, I actually just went in with this. Oh, <laughs> um, I actually just went in this shade here. Temp tempera? 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 Um, this is the basically the whitest shade here. Um, it has a tiny bit of a sheen and it has a tiny bit of kick up. Um, but I don't mind any sort of kick up and I've seen reviews where it's mentioned that it has some kick up anyway, especially comparing it to the subculture palette online. So that's what just kind of I use to set the base of the primer. Um, and I actually don't know what sort of look I want to go for today. I do feel like I want to use Bon Fresco, Bono Fresco. Love letter, but I don't know. We will see where this look takes us. First, I'm gonna certainly start with a transition shade. I think I'm gonna go in here with raw sienna in the crease. I think I'm just gonna go ahead in with this tempera shade again with the wet and wild brush that I used to set it just to kind of diffuse the edges a little bit more I do feel like it was a little bit rough but nothing terrible anyway I don't feel like I have to work nearly as hard as I do sometimes with maybe other shadows What I'm going to do is take this eye crease brush from e.l.f. and I actually think I want to go in to with this shade Warm Taupe and I kind of want to bring that into my crease um, as well to kind of deepen up and it depends on which brush you use not all of them have a lot of kick up like I thought but it's always good to, to take off the excess anyway. I'm gonna take that that brush that I use with the uh, raw sienna. Take a little bit more of that and just throw it in the crease. I feel like it might have been a little bit too deep, but you know what always happens with my eye looks is I never know what I'm going for, and as long as I blend it out, it ends up usually being okay. And I always do my eyes first because it ends up being. Just a little bit more fallout than I anticipate. Well, just to help for a clean base anyway. I'm 
going to take the ABH brush, I'm going to take the fluffier side to be more of the like blender. And I think I'm going with this color here. The bone fresco. Um, these certainly blend so well, I think, um, and I think it's, it's so soft. It glides right onto the eyelid when you have a good base. I find it to be very easy to use this palette, and I can understand now why so many people enjoy it. Now I'm going to go in with the other side of the ABH brush. And I'm going to take, I'm not sure which one's gonna look good. I wanna go on with this one up here, Love Letter, but I almost feel like I should go for Red Ochre. No, let's just go on with that one, why not? And with this one, I'm gonna go on the corners. And uh, I took the excess off of that. I certainly did. See that there? And I go like this. And that's what we get. It's great. It did blend away a little bit, but the majority of the pigment is still there. I think this is quite amazing, actually. I mean, it's expected that it's going to kind of be wiping away after a little while. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I like this look. I just took raw sienna. I couldn't remember which one I put with this brush. <laughs> but, um, I just took some more of raw sienna and I was just throwing it in. Uh, raw sienna is this one right here. Just throwing it in the crease and kind of all over. Blend it out a little bit more. taking more of tempura and putting it tempera, not tempura. <laughs> Just putting it kind of all over here. Cleaning up the edges a little bit. Not too too much. I mean I will be do will be cleaning up anyway, but again, I think it's all about the blending. I also don't know if this is that great of a look, but it's my first time, but I'm liking it. I like to keep something like this, um, I gotta wash it, but near my, near me when I'm doing my makeup, that way, you know, if it's maybe not a wash day or something, then you can easily take off the powder and throw it on there. You see the red, the love letter color there. With this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go ahead and take Vermeer, which is this color up here, to get up above the Primavera color. Um, Vermeer is, it's like a goldy, rose gold type of pink. So what I like to do, I'm going to first look at it um, without the brush being wet to see how that applies on the lid. And then I do like to sometimes put in some of the, um, like Fix, not Fix Plus, I don't have Fix Plus, but um, just setting spray or something. So... is really nice it's very pigmented even without wetting it but I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to wet it I like to 
take the shadow onto the brush first and then I like to go and wet the brush. I find that this helps me to um, keep the shadow intact. I feel like sometimes if you do it the other way around, then it's just, it doesn't keep it intact. I don't like that. I think what I'm going to do now is just go back in with a little bit of the love letter. I feel like it kind of melted away a little, just a little bit. Just bring that color back and also kind of bring it over top of the mirror that we used. I'm going to take the other side of this and take, I don't even remember what I used, maybe raw sand, not raw, raw sand, a warm taupe. I don't even remember if I used this color. Oi. Just to kind of blend it out here. I don't remember if I used this. I don't even know if it's a good... I look right now. I think I'm going to just end it there for right now. I think I'm going to just clean up the bottoms, actually. I'm going to try out some lashes. So I'm going to coat my uh, eyelashes with the Tardiest uh, Mascara Lash Paint from Tarte. So the eyelashes right now, I think it helps to bring it together. So now, I don't think I'm going to do any sort of eyeliner. I kind of want it to let it pop. I'm not even sure if this is a good look. Oh well, it's okay. Well, we just gotta do it and we, we just gotta practice, that's all. So I'm gonna take the Salon Perfect eyelashes and this is um, in the style Demi Wispies and the lash glue that is sort of drying out. I'm trying to get the last bit of it before anything. So this is what we have so far. I'm not, still not the greatest at putting on eyelashes. Um, the inner parts always seem to be lifting up. Maybe I just don't put enough uh, blue. I'm not even sure. Um, but I did put um, this Stay Put Milani a waterproof eyeliner fixed on plum in the tight line just to kind of mask it a little bit um, but you can see there that's not on and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it like that for now I mean it is what it is <laughs> um, I'll get better as I practice so I think what I'm going to do now is just to clean this up finish the rest of my face when I um, finish that I will come back and we will basically finish up actually I'll do some of the under of the eye I've never really done that before but I'm willing to give it a, sh a shot um, I forget what colors I used so we'll just kind of play around with that but hey whatever it's makeup and it washes off right so I will see you guys in a bit okay so I'm back um, I decided to first take off the eyelashes because me being the perfectionist that I am couldn't handle it I took them off to try and put them back on and it just wasn't 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 good so I just reapplied the um, Tarte mascara 
uh, onto the eyelashes and so on my face just to briefly go through what I'm wearing um, on my face right now so the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth is what I like to use my shade in the winter non-tan I guess <laughs> is 120 classic ivory I set the powder um, I set the foundation um, and the concealer with the Cody air sponge so that's what's on my face right now sort of baking for concealer I've been using and trying to use up this master conceal camouflaging concealer um, it's pretty thick you don't need a lot but I like this now let's see so that's the powder so on my eyebrows actually I just went in with the powder here from the bottom which is brow 2 this whole set is pow uh, brow number one as far as the shades but I went with brow 2 um, they're definitely not perfect so don't look at that um, but I use brow 2 on the actual uh, eyebrow which I feel like I'm liking it because I feel like it's more of a natural fluffy brow and it's not something that's as defined although again that's a little bit messy but it's okay um, and then I used this highlighting shade up here although the one shade in the palette for um, modern renaissance is was highlighty I wanted to go in with an extra one so I did that one and then I set my brows with the Ulta Beauty brow tint in medium brown well in medium I had to assume that it's brown um, for my bronzer I actually go in with this Ulta Beauty matte bronzer and this is the uh, cool shade I find that the cool works for me just all around um, put it here put it around here because I have a lighter skin tone and my skin tends to be more on the pinky side so I do like this one and for my blush um, I don't know if it's heavy I don't know if it's just right but I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush in the shade Seduce and it looks like this so that is that and that brings us to the under eye I had mentioned in my makeup haul that I didn't realize where this little mark came from and I was like oh, yeah, this doesn't even matter because it's gonna end up getting dirty anyway and I just had a little bit of a pink that I tried to wipe off. Of course, me being the person that I am, I'm like, I need to have it nice. Anyway, so like I was saying before, the little bit of a break there, well, for you, it was like a couple seconds. I didn't realize and I forgot what sort of colors I used <laughs> on my actual lid. So I'm just actually just going to go in with raw sienna. This is an e.l.f. smudge brush. I'm just going to go in with raw sienna and throw that on the lower lash line um, to start now don't mind me I've never really done lower lash line so I don't really know if this is gonna look nice if this is gonna go well then I'm actually probably just gonna keep it real simple to two colors so I used raw sienna on the outer areas and then I think I'm gonna just gonna go ahead in with this Vermeer shade again that I used on my lid and kind of bring it in the middle to keep it open and bright I don't know if that really did anything but that's gonna <laughs> probably just be it for that um, let me go ahead and oh it's a mess here I'm gonna go ahead and just do my oh no actually I'm gonna take the Maybell Maybelline not Maybelline Milani um, stay put liner in the fixed plum again and just kind of run that in my waterline for sort of matching the upper area all right so that's going to complete the eyes let me go ahead and just wipe away all of this excess I say it's gonna complete it and I forget to do my 
lower lashes. All right, so I think now that's going to complete the eyes. I wanted to try out from the little haul that we had before, the highlighter from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Precious Petals. I actually take the e.l.f. small tapered brush. Um, I have the highlighting brush, but I feel like this is more tapered and more highlighty. Um, actually, just kidding. Um, no, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm just gonna tap off some. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Whoa, yeah, <laughs> you can see that. Throw some up here, like a C. Throw some down the bottom, the bottom. I throw some down my nose. Not sure how I feel about it. I feel like it's accentuating some of my texture. But actually, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. I think that's pretty much it. Um, besides the lip color, which we'll do here in a second. I just used the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray because also it's the only one I have. Right, so now that that completes the face, yeah, that, that completes it. I think that spraying helped it. I think it really does kind of look natural. Well, as natural as a highlight's going to look, but I find that having put the uh, setting spray on it, I, th I think it helped. Um, now, I'm gonna use one of these Maybelline. I think I'm just gonna go with the one that I've been using. This one's the one in Lover. I like these, you might have seen, no I didn't show you, but it's got a triangular doe foot and it's got a little hole in the middle to hold product, which I like. Okay, so that's going to complete this video of my first impressions or trying new makeup. I'm not really sure how I'm going to word it, but I I would have to say that I actually really love the fact that I took the time, took the money to spend on the Modern Renaissance palette. I think it's going to be a great investment and I can see myself hit and pan on some of these um, shadows. Uh, I definitely think that it's going to be in my everyday makeup drawer for the month of March. That way I can get more use out of it as well as more looks and everything. So here's the look. It's probably not my best and it's probably not my worst. <laughs> so I will just continue to strive to get better and to test out products, let you know what I think, and, and really overall just enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye guys.